morning again and uh, welcome to the session so let me just start sharing my screen and uh, yeah can you say can you guys see my screen okay thank you um, okay so today's session is going to be about uh, data analysis techniques i think uh we had this session on the first week uh but let's have a deeper uh, like discussion on this one so uh yeah data analysis is just a spread the process it's not just uh, one thing it's a process it's a cyclic process of uh, like collecting inspecting and then cleaning and then transforming and finally more modeling the data in order to discover uh, informations or trends that are not easily uh, like not like the trends that you don't notice easily on the first of the data and doing this uh, like helps us uh, to make uh, data driven uh, decisions and make uh, and support our de decision making process so now uh, it helps us to make informative decisions it helps us to be uh, data driven and identify it helps us to identify the trends and patterns of the data that we have and it also improves the operational efficiency because it's um, way much more cost effective than others other things that we, we, we can do and it has a vast uh, application areas uh, but so mostly we use it in the bi or business intelligence uh, healthcare marketing finance and others of course yeah okay so uh, as i've mentioned earlier uh, like the data analysis is a process right so the process is right is from the collection of the data so the data could be collected from surveys uh, surveys, interviews, observations, or from the company data that's already existing. Um, after we collect the data, the data could be like messy, right? Could be uh, like, it could have uh, non-values. Non-values means non-existence. Values, uh, it could be uh, like, could be like uh, nothing. So the first thing, uh, it, it could have duplicates and so on, right? So the next thing that we do after we get the data is clean it. So cleaning the data could be handling the uh, missing value by using imputation or removing them. Like imputation means peeling them. So when you fill the data, you need to have a strategy. Like uh, you could, uh, you could uh, fill the non-values by the mean or the average of the element that it's found in or you can fill it for art for art and filling means filling the value of the like the above like for, for instance if the above row is uh, 2.5 and the next row is empty like filling 2.5 to the next row is called forward filling and backward filling is just the other way, way around like if you feel that missing value by the data found uh on the uh low uh row so uh, these are the information uh you, you can also feel the mean value the like average as i have mentioned the median and so on but you have to come up with the strategy uh, and the deletion or the removing is just removing the whole row that the non value is found in um, so the other thing is removing duplicates. So uh, we need to uh, make sure that uh, every row is uh, unique because we we don't want to have a duplication. So we need to remove identify and then remove the duplicate interface. But when I say duplicates, I mean the whole row, not just like one specific column, the whole row. 
And data transformation, uh, I, I don't think we need to work on this one for now, but if you want to know, it's just normalizations or uh, st standardization of a data. So standardization means uh, like you may have some, some, sometimes your data may have um, a big difference in the value of a column, right? Like for instance, the value of uh, one row could be a thousand and the next row could be in uh, like a hundred, a uh, thousand or a million and so on like if the variation of the data is this big it could influence your uh like when you try to do it it's going to be hard to visualize it and so on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna normalize it or uh just standardize it standardization means transforming these values into uh data uh, that starting from zero to one so the minimum is going to be zero and the maximum is going to be one and everything is going to be in between. And normalization is the same thing as standard, but it's just scaling the data in a specific, specified range. But it's, so it's similar with standardization. And the last thing is, is just detecting outliers and uh, like uh, getting rid of them. So outliers means um, when we uh, try to visualize a data, uh, like you can see that some of the data are uh, way off track uh, when compared to when compared to the other so entries like uh, like you know, the normal entries like if you had a hundred rows uh, of data and like 98 per, uh, of them are in the range of from uh, one to ten and the last two are in the range of like let's say they are 90 and 98 right so these two are outliers. So you need to find out why uh, these things, these two uh, datas are like this. Like, is it because of uh, the fault or yeah, are they a mistake and so on? So and you need to make sure to remove them or correct them if there are mistakes. So those are outliers. So any questions so far, guys? No questions? I'm going to say that as a no. Am I audible? No. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So, uh, so after clearing the data, the last thing that we're going to do is do our ETA. EDM is exploratory uh, data analysis. So this is the data analysis part that uh, we do at the last part after, of course, cleaning it. So uh, during the EDA, we can do uh, descriptive statistics, which are mean, the median, the mode, standard deviation, and the variance of the data or the column. And uh, we can visualize it by using different charts and identify patterns and trends by uh, using, of course, uh, these calls uh, could be done by plots, like scatter plots and so on, and correlation analysis, uh, like uh, Pearson's and uh, Spearman's uh, correlation analysis. We, we can use them and find if the data are correlated like if one column is correlated with others so when we find the correlation it could be one of three things it could be positively correlated it could be negatively correlated which means when one is increasing the other is de decreasing and the other is they are not correlated at all so uh, like this is the ada part so th this is the just the main part so that means the first thing that we can do is just uh, do this descriptive analysis. So we can, when we are using uh, uh, like spreadsheets, uh, these these are uh, kind of can be found in the functions easily. Like you can do just equals to average or equals to mean and so on. And the data visualization, I think we have already seen this one, uh, when, how to do graphs, how to plot graphs, and how to like create pivot plots, uh, pivot tables, and so on, right? So identifying the patterns, uh, we can do this by uh, 
graphs, right? When we uh, try to plot the graphs and we can see uh, how uh, like the graph is and see if there is a pattern. And the same thing for uh, the correlations. So uh, we do have, uh, like we can classify our data analysis techniques into two, qualitative and quantitative, like the, let's start with the, uh, Quantitative. So when we talk about quantitatives, we have uh, like the regression analysis, which is linear or lo logistic uh, regressions, like for bi the binary outcomes, zero and ones, and the regressions by uh, like modeling the relationship between the dependent and uh, the dependent variables, the independent and the dependent variables. We can plot graphs and do the analysis there. Uh, hypothesis testing, like null hypothesis testing, A B testing, and so on, chi square test, and so on. Uh, ANOVA, like uh, I'm, I, I, I know that like uh, these three are not like you, uh, you might have to do these three things for this uh, like project, but it's worth to know. So the ANOVA is just comparing the means of like multiple. Uh, groups just to do, to find the least one and time series is just uh, analyzing uh, like data points collected in specific time intervals so we can do like a window analysis like uh, from this time to this time what happened and so on just to find the trends right and the next one is just the qualitative analysis like we have thematic analysis which is for identifying and analyzing reporting patterns or teams for the qualitative uh, data, of course. The content analysis, this is a systematic core coding or categorizing of textual informations just to identify the patterns. Grounded theories and narrative analysis, like the narratives, like examining stories and personal accounts, uh, just to understand how uh, these things makes uh, sense to people's experience. And grounded analysis, just to de develop theories through attractive collection of analysis of data. So uh, we have seen like the techniques of uh, data analysis and uh, like the types of uh, these te techniques, but the main thing with that we need to consider is just uh, like which te technique to use, like which te technique to choose from. Like we do have the tools and everything, but we need to check uh, how to choose them. So the first thing that you're gonna look at is just consider, uh, like, consider the, the type of data. If the type of data is uh, qualitative, we're gonna use qualitative uh, and the technique and uh, qual for the qualitative, qualitative technique, of course. And after uh, like uh, uh, using the, te the, the, the technique, we are going to identify the purpose of our analysis. So is it, or descriptive, uh, do we want to describe or predict or like find the patterns and so on. Like, so after, when we choose this, we, when we get to the second part, we can like choose the group or the type of uh, data analysis that we want to do. And understand the relationship between variables, we can do correlations or trends or patterns. Uh, just to see how things are related with each other and choose the technique that best aligns with our goal. So every uh, every analysis has a goal. So uh, for this week, your goal is just to find the uh, right city that you want to relocate to. So in order to do that, you need to like find the right anal analysis technique. Uh, yeah. So, any questions, guys? Any questions or? So, no questions or uh, any updates on the project? Uh, like any ch challenges that you want to share or anything um, before we close off the section.
Questions, guys? No questions? Okay. Let me just stop the recording then.